pottery is really mindful. And it's a good way to sort of be in the moment and kind of de-stress and worry about something else, worry about making a pot <laughs> instead of worry about everything else. It can be expensive for people to do it um, when they don't have a paycheck coming in, right? So it's suspense that people don't want to pay. It's true, yeah. Sometimes you just need that little chance to, to figure out what's your thing. And we hear a lot of times that people aren't artists, but I, I tend to think is people just haven't found their medium yet. Never hurts to try something new and maybe put a little silver lining to all this. This is a way you can come and really, really try Try it out. Yeah, it, it's as she said, it's hard to think about anything else when you're throwing a pot. It's really immersive, and that's the wonderful thing about it. And you're getting your hands all dirty, and it's just to get to be with your community while you're doing it. Well, thanks for doing this. What a way to give back to the community. You know, that our, we are the community. Like, we're all one. It's We're all in that same boat, and we always really firmly believe, like, you have to do what you can with what you have. So this is what we have to offer. We can't cover their paychecks, <laughs> but we can give them a, a, a couple hours of, of fun. We've got about 36 slots with those three classes, so hopefully we'll be able to fill those up and get 36 people de-stressed. If it continues to be furloughed, we'll do this every Monday until it's until it's open again.